Well, good day, my dear students. For today's video, we're going to talk about Fermat's Little Theorem. Fermat's Little Theorem states that if A is an integer, T is a prime number, and A is not divisible by T, then A raised to T minus 1 is congruent to 1 mod T. Ito pong Fermat's Little Theorem, magagamit lang po natin ito kung ang T po is prime, yung nandito po. So, to further understand what Fermat's little theorem is, let's have this example. So, this example was taken at artofproblemsolving.com. What is the remainder of 3 raised to 31 mod 7? First things first, identify daw po muna natin kung si 7 po is a prime number. Now, is 7 a prime number? Yes, it is. So, ibig sabihin, pwede po natin itong magamit in order for us to solve this one. So, we have here, A is 3. So, ito po, A siya. So, A is 3 raised to 7 minus 1 is congruent daw po to 1 mod 7. So, 3 raised to 6 is congruent to 1 mod 7. Now, using po ito, pwede po nating makuha si 3 raised to 31. Using po si 3 raised to 6. So, si 3 raised to 6, alam na po natin siyang 1 po siya. Pero, ang inahabot po natin is si 31. Kaya, ano po yung number na pwede natin i-multiply kay 6 para po at least pumapit po siya kay 31. So, that is correct. The number is 5. Bakit po? 6 times 5, that is 30. Pero, may kulang pa po kasi siya na 3 raised to 1 or simply 3 lang po. So, that will give us... So that will give us 3 raised to 6 is 1, 1 raised to 5, that is 1 again. So that will give us 1 times 3 mod 7. 1 times 3, that is 3 mod 7. And 3 mod 7 is equivalent to 3. So ipig sabihin, ang remainder po ng 3 raised to 31 mod 7 is just 3. So ito po, kung maalala nyo, this is the application of loss of exponents. So kailangan um, alam po uli natin or at least na-recall po natin yung mga loss of exponent kasi kailangan po natin ito sa Fermat's Little Theorem. Now, let's have our example number 2. For example number 2, we have here, what is the remainder of 29 raised to 25 mod 11? First things first, is 11 a prime number? Yes, it is. So, ibig sabihin, pwede po nating magamit ang Fermat's Little Theorem to answer this problem. So, since 29 is A, so ibig sabihin, pwede natin siyang masulat as 29, 11 minus 1 is congruent to 1 mod 11. So, that will give us 29 raised to 10 is congruent to 1 mod 11. Mamaya po, magagamit natin to. So, for now, we will have 29 raised to 10 times, so since ang hinahapit po natin is 25, ano pong number ang pwede natin i-multiply kay 10 para at least lumapit siya kay 25? You are correct, that is 2. Because 2 times 10, that is 20. Pero meron pa po siyang 29 raised to 5 kasi po doon po sa loss of exponent natin, kapag same po yung basis at iba po yung mga exponent, pwede, na po, pwede po natin silang i-add. So, that will give us mod 11. So, 29 raised to 10 is 1. 1 raised to 2, that is 1 again. Times 29 raised to 5, mod 11. Is equal to 29 raised to 5, mod 11. Pero ito po, hindi pa po natin ito yung answer. Ibig sabihin, pwede po tayong gumamit ng technique na modular exponentiation para mahanap po ito. Using the modular exponentiation, we must first list yung mga pagkakasunod-sunod na remainders. So we have here 29 raised to 1 mod 11 is equal to 29 divided by 11. The remainder is 7. So 7 siya. So 29 raised to 2 mod 11, that will give us 29 raised to 2, that is 841 divided by 11. The remainder now is 5. So, si 29 raised to 3 naman po, mod 11. 
So, 29 raised to 3, that is 24,389. Pero, divided by 11, our remainder will be 2. So, since ang hinahanap po natin is si 5, so, ibig sabihin, pwede uli natin itong gamitan ng loss of exponent, such as 29 raised to 3 times 29 raised to 2 mod 11. So that will give us what is the equivalent of 23, I mean, what is the equivalent of 29 raised to 3? That is 2. So 2 times what is the equivalent of 29 raised to mod 11, that is 5. Now 2 times 5, that is 10. So ibig sabihin, 29 raised to 5 mod 11 is equal to 10. So our answer now will be 29 raised to 25 mod 11 is equal to 10. So, yan po yung answer. So, so, now, let's go to our example number 3. For example number 3, we have here 2 raised to 2023 mod 11. So, first things first, let's identify what is the P here. We have 11. Is 11 a prime number? Yes, it is. So, ibig sabihin, pwede nating magamit ang Fermat's little theorem. Now, our A is 2. So, ibig sabihin, we have here 2 raised to 11 minus 1 is congruent to 1 mod 11. So, we have here 2 raised to 10 is congruent to 1 mod 11. Now, using this, pwede po tayong lumapit kay 2023 at makuha yung sagot po ni 2 raised to 2023 mod 11. So, that will give us 2 raised to 10. Ano pong pwede natin i-multiply kay 10 para at least lumapit kay 2023? That is 202. Because 202 times 10, that is 200 or 2020. Pero meron pa po siyang natitirang 3. So, ibig sabihin 2 raised to 3 tayo dito, 2 raised to 3. Mod 11, mod 11. Now, 2 raised to 10, that is 1. 1 raised to 202, that is still 1. So, ibig sabihin, 1 times 2 raised to 3, mod 11, is just equal to 2 raised to 3, mod 11. And 2 raised to 3 is equal to 8, mod 11, and 8 mod 11 is just equal to 8. So, ibig sabihin, the remainder is 8. Now, let's have this example. What is the remainder of 21 raised to 115 mod 29? So, first things first, kailangan po nating identify is 29 a prime number? Yes, it is. So, since ito po si P at ito po si A, pwede po natin siyang rewrite as 21 raised to 29 minus 1 is congruent to 1 mod 29. So, that will give us 1 or 21 raised to 28 is congruent to 1 mod 29. So we can use this in order for us to be at least nearer to 115. So we will have here 21 raised to 28 times 115 divided by 28. So ang pwede po sa kanyang kumasya is 4 times because 28 times 4 is actually equal to 112. Pero meron pa po siyang 3. Kung ito po 112, pag minultiply is 112, meron pa po tayong matitirang 3 dito. So mod, I mean that is 21, mod 29. So that will give us 21 raised to 112 times 21 raised to 3, mod 29. Now, 21 raised to 112, According po dito is 1. So that will give us 21 raised to 3 mod 29. So that will give us 21 raised to 3 mod 29. At kung ano daw po yung magiging result nito. So kung maalala nyo po yung ginawa natin kanina, di ba po? So we have here 21 mod 29 is just 21. 21 squared mod 29 is equal to 441 divided by 29, that will give us 6. So, si 21, 
raised to 3, mod 29, pwede natin gamitin itong dalawa. So, 21 times 6, that will give us 126 divided by 29, ang magiging result po is 7. So, that will give us, ang answer po natin is 10. Now, let's proceed to our last example. If today is Wednesday, what day is 5 raised to 2023 days from now? So, tandaan po natin na Wednesday ngayon at ang inahanap po natin is 5 raised to 2023. So, since nasa isang week may 7 days, ibig sabihin ang inahanap po natin dito is 5 raised to 2023 mod 7. So, kung maalala nyo po, is 7 a prime number? Yes, it is. At ito din po yung tinatawag nating P at si 5 po ang A. So, ibig sabihin, pwede natin siya maririte as 5 para sa 7 minus 1. Is congruent to 1 mod 7. So, that will give us 5 raised to 6, 1 mod 7. So, using this, pwede tayong lumapit dito kay 2,000. 23. So, that will give us 5 raised to 6 times. Ano daw pong imumultiply natin kay 6 para lumapit kay 2023? That is 337. Because 337 times 6, that is 2022. So, pero meron pa po tayong, kung 2022 po ito, meron pa po tayo ibig sabihin na 1 dito. Mod 7. So that will give us 5 raised to 6 is 1 raised to 337 that is, that is still 1 so that will give us 1 times 5 mod 7 or simply 5 mod 7 or 5 because 5 mod 7 is just equal to 5. Ngayon po, ang gagawin natin Wednesday plus 5 so that will give us Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. So, ibig sabihin, ang day po is Monday after 5 raised to 2,023 days. So, imagine kung gagawin po natin siyang manuman, hindi po natin kakayanin. But, using the Fermat's Little Theorem, answering this problem is possible. That's it for today, my dear students. If you still have questions, please don't hesitate to comment down below. If you find this video helpful, Please like and subscribe to my channel. So I'll see you next time. Goodbye!